In the Azure portal, I'm going to show you how to create an Azure Data Lake Analytics. And then how to create from new SQL a dataset, a CSV file, and then how to explore this result. So here I'm in my Azure portal, I'm going to create a resource that is a Azure Data Lake Analytics. But first I'm going to create a resource group and in this resource group I'm going to put my resource. So that's why I'm going here and in my subscription I'm going to create a test for example Azure Data Lake Analytics in your NARP create go to resource group and then here I'm going to create an Azure Data Lake Analytics Data Lake Analytics so here the, uh, the summary of the services and then I'm going to create in my resource group uh, this one and uh, I'm going to use this subscription and my services name is a test for example test demo in Europe North I'm going to use my subscription and then he need a uh, uh, data lake uh, gen one uh, resource I'm going to create is a data lake blob blob storage add and I'm going to use uh, as I use as I pay the option pay as you go so create there is two resource the Azure Data Lake Analytics and the Azure Storage Gen 1 with the option pay as you go pay as you go and create so now I have my two resource is created the first one is a blob, is a storage, and the second one is the analytics services. When I go here, I have the dashboard of the uh, total storage used and a data explorer. I can explore data here. This is organized in folder. So when I go back to my analytics uh, services, I can create a new job. Also, I can show all the job, add a wizard, a user wizard, and delete the resource. I go to to the job. So let's create a new job. Test one. And here I'm going to put my USQL query. So this is my code. My in variable is going to select all from the uh, value t1 and the, the value and t2 and the value. And the column name is c1 and c2. And the output is the data.csv. Um, later I'm going to convert into a CSV file. So my job is ready to run. So, to test that, we should um, submit the job. When I click to submit, the job is preparing, then is queued, later is running and is done. So we are going to wait for our job. So the result, we are going to have a CSV file with two column with a value um, T1 and T2. I'm 
add error because I put here a code. I delete this code. I'm, I'm going to execute another time. I'm going to submit my job. It's preparing. I'm gonna wait a couple of seconds. The job is queued, then it's running. So the execution is done. I have in my output my data.csv and my input is an empty file. So in Azure Analytics, I construct my data. So the result is, uh, so my script is here, the input, and like I do in SQL, select all from the select the name of the the value of the column, and then uh, from the source. And here we do the inverse. We create data in the Azure Analytics, and I put my result in uh, data.csv. So here we can find the result in the output. I have my data.csv. I have my two columns. So I can download my file and I can open it and I have my two my two row. So when I go back to my old job I have all the execution and with logs of the execution. I can create a new job or I can um, modify uh, an existing job. So I can also go to Data Explorer and here my storage and then I can find my data.csv. I can open in an explorer. Also in a data source I can add a new data source here, uh, either storage account, or also I can explore my database. Here I have my master database. I have the view table, um, storage procedure, assembly, credential, package, 